Hi sweet friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy you're here for today's fall decorating video and today we're decorating the porch for fall 2024. I cannot believe it, but I am so excited to bring you along. I'm using lots of gorgeous burgundy colors as well as those really rich oranges and I think the combination just says fall. I love all the pumpkins. I did decide to go with some stacking pumpkins this year and I think they're so unique and pretty. I love that you can kind of layer them on top of each other and I'm excited to show you how those turn out on the porch as well I have lots of straw and hay bales as well as some of this gorgeous broom corn I've shared this before on my channel but I think it's so elegant and pretty and the colors definitely say fall you guys will have to let me know if you've decorated your porches for fall. I also have some of these really cute pumpkin picks as well as these gorgeous bows and this really sweet red wagon. And then of course I do have my corn stalks here. I cannot wait to tie these on to my posts on the front porch. I love how they look. And I was watching Karen's channel, Enhance the Seasons with Karen, and she was showing how when you do your corn stalks, you can just peel back some of the husks and it shows the corn and I thought that was such a smart idea so thank you so much for the tip Karen I'm gonna pull a little bit more of these apart and I think this is gonna make such a difference so of course I have my little helper Holstein here he's wearing his sweet little bandana from my sister that says attention seeker and if you guys do follow me on Instagram, you would have seen that Holstein did have surgery on Friday. It was just a deep cleaning, but he did have to be put to sleep for that. You can see how they shaved his little arm there. And they thankfully did not have to do any extractions. It was just a really deep cleaning. And then they thought they might have to do surgery on his eye. He almost has a little cyst, but we're just going to keep an eye on it. He did not have to have anything done and he's doing so well. So thank you for all your prayers. So I did go and remove all my summer decor. It was a little bittersweet getting rid of all the flowers, but to be honest, a lot of them were dead anyways from the heat that we've had. I'm gonna lay this gorgeous rug down. I love the brown with the black trim. I think it's so gorgeous and definitely gives a fall feel to the porch. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add back my little bistro set here. I've had this for quite a few years. But the size is just perfect for the front porch and me and my husband love to come out here and sit as well as Holstein. This is more so his little seat and as you can see as soon as I put his chair there he was ready to hop on. He loves to kind of watch the whole neighborhood and just sit here and I think it's absolutely adorable. Next, I'm going to drape this cozy blanket on this chair. I like to make it as soft and comfortable for Holstein as possible. I know he loves sitting here and it brings me so much joy just sitting on the balcony with him and just seeing his excitement. But next, I'm going to add these really pretty velvet pillows here. I love that pop of color that they bring to this gray set. And I think the gray and orange is just such a gorgeous color combination. Of course, I had to stop and give Holstein some cuddles and scratches. Let me know if you guys get distracted by your pets when you're trying to do stuff around the house. But next I have this gorgeous crock. I filled it with this burgundy mum and I think it's so stunning. I wanted to add a little hay bale here and then a few various little pumpkins that I did pick up from the pumpkin patch. I thought this green and orange pumpkin was so stunning and different. I love the shape of it as well as the colors. I didn't want to cover that design on the crock though, so I just kind of scooched them over. And I love how this little area turned out. It's very simple, but the perfect spot to have a coffee. And then I have this really rustic old ladder. I think it was found on the side of the road, to be honest. I think that's where I found it, but I love it. It looks very distressed and almost vintage-like. So I love to add this to my fall front porch. I started off by adding a little hay bale to the top of it. And then I decided to add a few little pumpkins also. I don't know about you guys, but I find the little pumpkins and gourds so sweet. I love to add these and they're usually really inexpensive, but they add such a sweet little touch to your fall decor. 
I'm really loving how this area is looking. It looks so festive already. And then I have this gorgeous wreath. I got this from Michaels a few years ago. I love the bow and the softer muted colors. So I thought I would switch it up and use this wreath this year. Typically I have a really large multicolored wreath, but I wanted to go with something a little bit more muted and I think this pairs so well and I love the simplicity of it. I am going to reuse this doormat that I got last year. It says thankful. I love the handwriting on it. It's in perfect condition, so I thought why not use it again? And then on either side of the door, I'm gonna add these really gorgeous mums. You guys will have to let me know in the comments what your favorite color of mums are to add for fall. I definitely love the darker colors. And then I have some of these gorgeous straw bales. I think they're so pretty. I love the round shape of them. I thought they were so unique. I did purchase these. I believe they were two for 12 and I thought I would just kind of prop them up against the door. And I think against the mums, they add such a pretty little fall touch. And then these pumpkins I've used probably for the last four years. They were from Dollar Tree and I absolutely love them. They're definitely getting a little faded, but I think they're so pretty and I just can't part with them. I absolutely love this pumpkin. I love almost like the raffia hanging from it just naturally. I think it's so gorgeous. And then I had this really kind of warty looking gourd that I wanted to add. I think the combination of the dark orange with that more muted orange is so gorgeous. And against that brown mum, I think it's so stunning. Last year I used some big apple baskets to put my mums in, but this year I decided to switch it up and maybe not use them just because it creates a little bit more space by the door. And then I got my husband to add that big hay bale and I have this gorgeous little wagon. I think it was from a garage sale. I love how rusty and worn it is. Just so perfect and cute for a fall front porch. And I love this because I can also use it at Christmas. So it's definitely dual purpose. To me, there's something about a little wagon on a porch that feels very nostalgic. I don't know. I think it's such a gorgeous look. And then I'm going to layer in another little mini hay bale right in the wagon. And that looks so adorable. I think it's so perfect for fall. I decided to add a little orange pie pumpkin to the top of this hay bale. And then I remembered I had these cute little scarecrows. I think they're so adorable. I know scarecrows aren't everybody's cup of tea but I think they look so cute, just kind of layered on these straw bales. I believe I purchased these ones at Walmart last year, but I think they add an adorable touch. I really never used them before in my decorating, but there's only so many pumpkins and mums that you can use. So I thought that was a cute little addition by adding those. And I'm loving all these rich colors. It's making me so happy just seeing how everything's coming together. And truly, it is such a fun time to decorate for. I'm going to go in with this little footrest. I purchased that from a garage sale I think for under $10 and then I did get this blanket this year it's probably the only kind of decor piece I bought for the front porch and I love this it's going to be gorgeous at Christmas also so again it's kind of fun when you buy things that you know you can use multiple seasons and I believe it was $34.99 from HomeSense. We're gonna add some of these corn stalks now to our pillars and to attach them, I just used some twine that I get from the dollar store, nothing expensive. And once those are kind of set up, I'm just going to pull back a few pieces of these corn and I love the pop of yellow. It's such a pretty touch and I'm so glad I learned that. That's why it's so fun to watch decorating channels because you see things that you might never have thought of on your own. So I find so much inspiration watching a lot of YouTube channels. I just love it. But I'm going to tuck in this corn now, this broom corn, and I love the addition of that. And then to bring a little pop of color, I'm going to add these gorgeous bows that I got from Michael's. 
I did want to show a little glimpse of all the bows they had here in Canada. Everything's 60% off and they had so many pretty bows to choose from. I was debating on getting either this bow or this one. I love the white pumpkins and the green, but I ultimately went with the bow I went with just because I thought it might hide dirt a little bit more and the pop of orange is so stunning. There's so much to look forward to in the fall. I've really been enjoying going on long walks and drives in the country and seeing all the trees change color. That always brings me so much joy, just the small things. And I love the colors of fall. I truly think fall is the most gorgeous season. And I'm really trying to soak it all in because I cannot believe it's already almost the middle of September. I don't know where time is going, but I really hope it slows down. And little Holstein's just having a great little nap here. I thought it was so sweet. It's so warm out. He's probably enjoying the sun. It just put him to sleep. But I love the look. And now I did add these two planters. Um, I got those from Canadian Tire. And these mums are huge. These are from Costco. I think they are around $15 each. But they are massive. I almost couldn't even lift these into these potters because they were so big. But I thought they were such a great deal. And they're going to look so gorgeous once they fully bloom. I like to buy my mom's when a lot of them aren't open just because you can really enjoy them for a lot longer. Once they bloom, they don't live too much longer. So if you do purchase them kind of not in bloom, you get to enjoy them a lot longer. So I have my stacking pumpkins here. This one is so gorgeous. Again, I love that green and orange combo. And to it, I'm going to add this white one and then this gorgeous green one. And I think this is so pretty. I love the look of the stacked pumpkins. I think I got all three for 18. So they were definitely a little bit more pricey, but I think the look is so stunning. And a lot of these pumpkins I give to my sister and she ends up baking them and making dog treats. So we do try to repurpose these pumpkins or I'll give them to a farm um, so animals can eat them. I really don't let them go to waste but I'm gonna add some of these really big orange pumpkins here now, and then I thought it would be really cute to add some of the smaller pumpkins around it. I love white pumpkins, but I do find that from the sun, they tend to go more yellowy pretty fast. You guys will have to let me know if you have any tips and tricks to keep them white. I really don't wanna add chemicals just because if an animal were to eat something, I wouldn't want them to get sick. Even though we really don't have any critters that come onto the porch, we do have squirrels around, but I've never had them really eat any of my pumpkins. Um, but if you do have any tips or tricks, let me know in the comments. And then I'm gonna go in with these adorable little squashes. I love the color on these. And all the oranges are so gorgeous. I typically use a lot more mums, but this year I really wanted to use a lot of pumpkins and gourds in all different colors and shapes. I really hope you guys have enjoyed watching today. I'm so happy you decided to stop by and leave me a comment in the comment section if you enjoyed today's video and what your favorite part of the porch decor was. Again, I'm so grateful for each and every one of you and you truly mean so much to me. I hope you all have a wonderful week and until the next video, friends, take care and God bless. Open up the window I'm breathing in the last of September I can feel the wind blow And the late summer sky is like a giant ember
Since I was a little child Every year for as long